Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood, head of Maidstone in the FA Trophy and a Cup double actually with Lansing in the County Cup as well. Adam, we'll just look back on the last week. It's been a pretty challenging week with the Ebbsfleet game, the Dover postponement and uh, the game on Tuesday night as well. What's been learnt from it and what were your thoughts looking back on this previous week? Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly it. We've got to learn um, from these two games. Uh, obviously conceded nine goals in two games, uh, only scored one. So there's plenty for us to learn from and improve. And I think that's just the um, you know harsh reality of this league. You know, um, you can get an unbelievable result one week and then within a week later have them kind of results behind you. And, you know, Weymouth have definitely improved, picked up. They're one of the informed teams in the league. And, you know, you, you catch these kind of teams at the wrong time. Um, you know, they're full-time outfit. Um, I think they do like the hybrid model, so like three mornings or whatever. So, um, yeah, I think the, like, go back to your question, the lessons that we've learned is, um, you know, we've got to definitely defend our box with more aggression. Um, and just keep believing in what we're doing. I think teams seem to come here and impress us with a high press and we sometimes abandon a little bit of what we're good at um, and go back to front a little bit too quick, which we're probably not too good at, um, and just keep that faith and that belief in, in what we do and, and the process that we try to, to play uh, through. Um, and, yeah, it's, that's what it is. We've, we've got to learn. We've got to learn quickly. We've got a good group, and, you know, I think some of us, um, you know, the players that are playing don't look like they're really they look like they're frightened to make mistakes and there's no way to play sport and that's going to be my message really for the players to you know just go out and play and enjoy it and you've got to enjoy ultimately what we're doing and um i feel some of them playing with a little bit of fear for whatever reason and you know that'd be the the message to just really go and enjoy playing playing um for a big club like worthing um and in the style and manner that we do and there's definitely spells about this season as well. As you mentioned, we've had some real high results with obviously the Havant game that was just before this previous run. So there's definitely that, that ground to build on for those results. No, definitely. I think like if we go back, what, probably 22 games now we've played this season and you know probably over 50% of them there's been from good, good performances. Um, in there, there's been some where we've played well for 45 minutes and not signed up for 45 minutes for whatever reason. Um, so we're trying to address that. But I think in the main, large bulk, there's been good performances. We haven't always got the results that we wanted to. Um, and, you know, I thought Chelmsford at home was was a 3-1 loss and it felt a bit different to, to this one on, on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, we've got to keep, keep believing in what we're doing. That's going to be the key message, just to keep showing the lads some good stuff that they're doing um, at the same time. You know, really reflect and and you know we need we need different kinds of players. Um, you know, we need defenders that are enjoying winning headers in our box. And you know, I, I think at the moment maybe we've got too many defenders that enjoy playing a, a a diagonal pass and playing a player in rather than the actual fundamentals of a defender and that's defending the box. And um, yeah, it's just some some real basic messages like that. I'm um, getting defenders to enjoy defending um, and still. You know, that belief when we have got the ball. Fresh start for the team, coming away from league action for the next week, as we said. Maidstone on Saturday. Big trip. Um, they were the champions of our league last season. Big doubt in the National League outfit. How do you feel going into it? Uh, yeah, obviously, um, we have one or two players back. Um, it's, it's a great game to, to be part of and playing. Um, they obviously be keen to um, come away from league action and, and um, look to have a cup run. Um, and you know, see us as a, a good opportunity to do that, no doubt at home. Um, but yeah, at the same time, we've got to go there and confidence, lick our wounds from the last two games, and um, you know, play with without that fear, um, and just enjoy, enjoy going to a, a great club and a, a great stadium, big crowds, um, and really embrace it, and you know, try to put a bit more endeavour into. The things that we actually enjoy doing um, rather than having that fear in, in our game. Been a few week injury issues lately so just thinking of the squad going into this game um, a few players missing obviously Tutty, uh, Barker, Reese was missing on Tuesday, uh, Keely and Aaron had a bit of a knock as well. How are all these guys looking? Um, how's the squad looking? Going to no yeah Reese was just um, not selected we just changed things around so he's just obviously played a lot of minutes and looking at one or two things there so yeah he'll be 
more than fit and available. Um, with the others, I think Lewis White, Aaron Racine, Deli Barker, hoping to all be out there training tonight. Um, whether they can all get through 90 minutes, I don't know. Um, Alex Parsons and Joe Ryer struggling from the other night. Obviously, Alex's first involvement in a long time, so that's to be expected. He's not going to come back in and play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. The length of time he's been out, but you know, a very um, valid addition um, moving into the, the lot of games that we've got. So, hoping he'll be available for Tuesday, if not Saturday. So, yeah, it's. Um, there's one or two missing, but then we've got a few back as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good, good, good squad at the moment. Um, and, like I say, no matter who's available or not, I believe in the players that go out on that pitch. Um, obviously, I wouldn't be here. And um, it's, it's down to, to them, like I say, to really relish that opportunity and try and keep the shirt. And, um, you know, that's got to be one of the messages that we, we send to the players. And uh, just going off of the uh, off the pitch onto the bench, John Keeley uh, recently getting a move to Crawley on a full time basis. So some really good work with the club over the last year. Um, what are your thoughts on on John? No, yeah, it's still um, you know I speak to John regularly, so we we'll still be in contact. But you know you can't deprive someone of, of John's um, experience and, and quality and what he's brought to our goalkeepers and the improvement that they've made is. It's been astonishing. So, you know that someone with that um, quality is is going to be um, wanted at a high level. Um, so yeah, delighted that he's back in full time football and working every day with with, with goalkeepers. And um, you know, obviously, Crawley is very lucky to have him like we have been over the course of the year. But yeah, we're still stay in contact with with Kilo um, and. Yeah, he's just wish him all the very best in, in, in his move and I'm sure, you know, he'll he'll do very well there.